So last week I tried to grow on Instagram. I experimented posting dumb photos to see what would get me famous. Guys, the results are shocking. So what did I learn from posting dumb Instagram photos for a week? And what does it really take to grow your profile in 2020? If you guys wanna know more, all you gotta do is keep on watching. All right, hey guys, my name is Jane and I've made a lot of Instagram growth videos. I think at one point I was like the top creator for Instagram growth on YouTube, which is crazy. But this video you're watching is way different than any other Instagram growth video you've seen. The reason being is I actually documented the start to the finish of growing this Instagram profile. And if you haven't seen part one, don't worry, I'll link it in the description box and I'll give you a quick recap. In the last episode, I took three different photos that have one thing in common. All of them were stupid. And you might be asking, Jay, what do you mean by stupid? It's it's not that it's dumb and I don't want to humiliate her. It's just like, they're really under thought. So yeah, I wanted to create content that was low effort and comedic because I've seen so many people like Emma Chamberlain post stuff like this. That's why it got 1.7 million likes. So right now I'm gonna show you the results from the last three posts I did so we can see if I grew a little bit or I flopped. Drum roll, please. <laughs> All right, so photo number one. Photo number one was me in a puff jacket with a Billie Eilish song lyric, and it got 4,337 likes. Guys, that's actually crazy. That's a 30% increase from my typical likes, which is around 3,000. So I literally got an extra 1,000 likes from posting stuff that was more stupid. I, I, yeah, I'm kind of mad. All right, photo number two. This is a picture of me holding a camera, making fun of YouTubers. And this photo got 2,483 likes. Hmm. Photo number two had like a 15% decrease on engagement. Let's see what happens in photo number three. So this is photo number three. It was me talking to myself and this photo got 4,400 likes. Woo! So photo number three did by far the best. What can we learn from this photo so you can apply this to your Instagram and grow your brand and get more engagement as well? To answer this question, we are gonna go visit the data scientists of Instagram. Cue the marketing lesson of the day. So for you guys to understand what gets more likes, we need to understand the Instagram algorithm. I've made countless videos about this so if you are an OG subscriber, sit in for a ride. Instagram was built just for one single goal, to capture and share the world's moments. I'm not joking, you can literally Google Instagram mission statement and that is their number one goal. So when you think about it, if you help Instagram with their goal, they wanna keep promoting you because you're a creator that helps get their business growing so they keep on pushing you. So if you think about it, if you make Instagram happy, AKA help them get to their goal, they're gonna keep promoting you, be on your side and help promote your account because you're helping them grow their business. Like if Instagram grows bigger, gets people to share more, they get more ad money, so their company will keep flourishing. So what can we do to make Instagram love us and promote us, right? If you wanna get on the explore page or get people to share it, go viral, what can we do, Jade? What can we do? All right, so it's really, really simple. There's three things that you need to know about the Instagram algorithm. All right, so step one is making sure your photos are clickable. The way it works is Instagram's actually showing your photo to thousands and sometimes millions of people. This is done through the explore page. When Instagram's putting it on explore page or people's timelines, right? It's all about the click-through rate. So when people see it, how many people tap on it and like it? The click-through rate is basically all about, you know, how compelling is your image? Are people stopping and scrolling on it so they can look at whatever you posted? So making sure that step one, you have a very clickable eye-catching image is so important because without it, you can't go to step two. So step two. So once Instagram sees that people are clicking on the image or they stop scrolling to look at it, you want to make people feel the emotion. So this is a little bit more personal, right? So if you're scrolling on Instagram and you stop and you look at the photo, you're read the caption and you kind of feel something, right? Then you maybe want to share. This is what I do with memes all the time, you know? There's like an Instagram page called Overheard LA and like there's thousands of comments every single day of people chatting and tagging their friends because when they laugh at a meme, they want to share it, which brings you to number three. Once people feel an emotion, they're going to share, save, and do the heavy lifting for you. If you get people to click, they read or feel the emotion and they share it, Instagram will see that signal and keep promoting it on more and more pages. So if you get one person to do it, Instagram will set, show it to five more people, then 20, then 100, then a million. So if you're able to keep that consistent, that is exactly how the Instagram algorithm works. So now you guys may be wondering, cool Jade, but how can I apply it to my posts? All right, so let me just show you what happened at least in my case, everybody's different. So let me know if you guys use these tips and it worked for you. I would love to hear you guys on Instagram DMs. You can chat with me any single 
until time, let me know what you think and give this video a like if you're so far enjoying it. All right, so if I was to analyze this, what I had to say is photo number three was clickable just because the image was a little bit different. I photoshopped like three of myself in one photo. I don't know how often you see that. So I could definitely see how Instagram kind of favored the fact that it was just an intricate photo. Now, I don't mean to toot my own horn, but I feel like the caption was super easy to understand. It was basically me saying like, I'm self-employed, I talk to myself and I'm crazy. And I think because of that, it's a funny remark and people really felt that. And because of that, there's literally 50 shares on this photo, 187 saves and over 180 comments. Like beyond likes, this is one of the most engaged posts, right? You can get a million likes, but if no one comments and cares, what's the point? I think engagement is actually even more valuable than likes sometimes. So I really do have to say because it was a comedic post with an interesting image, people really wanted to share it with their friends. I have people sharing it to their group chats. I have no idea who's doing that. I think that's why Instagram started to favor this post and promote it on more pages. And you might be asking, okay, Jay, but what about my low performing posts? What can we learn from those? Well, photo number two wasn't completely a failure. I learned that an image that was a selfie that wasn't really honestly put together probably doesn't get people to stop scrolling. This photo has 2,400 likes and only 16 shares, probably because it's not that emotional. It probably could have been better quality and it's something different. Guys, before you click away, I would die and like cry if you didn't take away this one lesson that I've learned from this experiment, which is, wait, <laughs> honestly, if I say it, you might puke, it's really cheesy and I don't wanna be that channel that's like, be yourself and be authentic. But I'm not joking, guys. The more authentic, relatable, and just true to yourself you are online, people see that, it's contagious, and they wanna share. Again, Instagram's mission statement, the, the entire multi-billion dollar company is built on one phrase, which is capture moments and share. And the only way to get people to share is to make people feel emotion. Whether it's laughing, you know, you wanna make people feel sad. If you're feeling confident one day, show it in your face. It's all about making you feel something so people can share it. It's so important for you guys to drill that in your head. If you're posting content that has no meaning, that's totally fine, but that's just noise in the system and Instagram wants to filter out the noise, right? They only wanna promote things that get people to share, excited. And my best way to do that is through humor and to something that's lighthearted. You don't even need to think too hard, just literally be yourself. The reason why this photo got literally like 30% more likes than all my other photos is because I was true to myself. This is something that I struggle with. I talk to myself a lot. This is literally me in my head 24 seven. And I don't think I've ever seen anyone do it. I saw like one meme on Twitter. So I'm not even gonna give credit. I wasn't completely original. I just think it's so important in this world where people wanna label you, tell you what your feed should look like. Just stay true to yourself. Post shit that you like. I don't know if you guys know me or this is your first time seeing me, but I just wanna say thank you for watching this video because my channel is built on one purpose, which is to help you share your message better. So I hope this was helpful. It got you inspired and just to remind you that no matter what, no one can tell you what your feed should look like, what's gonna get the most likes. Just stay true to yourself and people will catch on and share it for you. Guys, if you like this video, I actually have a free worksheet for you guys that comes with today's video. If you were ever confused about the Instagram algorithm or what posts you should make that are true to yourself, I have a three question worksheet that will help you figure it out. It's free. Just click the link in the description box if you wanna download it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you so much, Darma Nation. Shout out to the comment winner. Shout out to the Comment on this post to be featured in the next episode. If you want to be the next comment winner, just comment below. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Like, subscribe, and peace.